understanding, how did she die? I don't know. You don't know? Something about drowning, possibly? Everyone else has their theories. I don't know. In an interview released today, Casey Anthony says she still does not know what happened to her daughter. It has been almost nine years since Kaylee went missing and six years since Casey Anthony's trial in Orlando. Anthony was convicted of lying to police but found not guilty in the death of her daughter. After her month and a half long trial, the jury took less than 11 hours to find Anthony not guilty on several charges. Just this month, the former circuit judge who presided over her case theorized that Anthony may have killed Kaylee accidentally, trying to use chloroform to calm her down. News 6's Eric Von Aiken joins us now live. He continues our team coverage from the newsroom. And Eric, you talked to all of the key players from the trial today. What are they telling you about this? Sure did, Lisa, including Jose Baez, the defense attorney, Judge Belvin Perry. And the only one who would do an interview about this is Mark O'Mara. He says Casey Anthony made conflicting and less than redeeming statements. This morning, when you checked your phone and you saw this, what was the first thing you thought? Well, I would hope, I would like to have hoped that it could have been something insightful. But the next second before reading the article, I sort of figured it wouldn't be. And the reason why is, what is she going to say that's going to help the rest of us who still have an enormous amount of curiosity? She's been acquitted because a jury could not decide beyond a reasonable doubt that she did what she was accused of. And she gets to move on in her life. Curiosity and animosity, says Mark O'Mara, knew Six's legal analyst throughout the trial who scrutinized every piece of testimony and every legal argument. This article didn't help. No, it didn't help at all. I'm not sure that she can do anything to try and rehabilitate the way the majority of people look at her. And the reason why is pretty simple. There's a two-year-old child who is now no longer with us. And the way that mom acted was reprehensible. Well, you were also convicted of one thing. Lying to the cops. Right. People lie to the cops every day. Cops lie to people every day. I'm just one of the unfortunate idiots who admitted that they lied. But Anthony didn't admit to anything else. I'm still not even certain as I stand here today about what happened. She doesn't talk about how little Kaylee died if she did drown in the pool and her father covered it up, as defense attorney Jose Baez suggested during opening statements. You don't know. Something about drowning, possibly. Everyone else has their theories. I don't know. That is a definite inconsistency with the way it was presented at trial. But don't forget that the way the defense itself was presented at trial was somewhat askew. There was some outrageous accusations made in the trial. Um, so since we don't know whether or not the allegations of the defense at trial were even accurate, who knows if what Casey Anthony said most recently is accurate or not. Accusations including that Anthony's father, George, abused her when she was younger. That came out of trial. And during the interview, Casey Anthony mentions her dad with a cryptic message. What Mark O'Mara thinks of that when I see again coming up at 6. Lisa. Eric Bunnington reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. We have continuing coverage of this story on our website. You can hear the rest of Casey Anthony's interview with that Associated Press reporter. Just go to clickorlando.com. You will find this story on the homepage.